The Tongan community relief effort in New Zealand is swinging into action. A disaster relief committee has begun coordinating a relief drive and Sir Michael Jones, the All Black Great, has a fundraiser planned of his own. Simon Shepherd reports. Ever since the eruption and following tsunami, Tongan families in New Zealand have been waiting for news. But that hasn't stopped them getting ready to help. This is a representation of showing their love uh, to, their, to their family in Tonga by contributing something from them to Tonga. Essential water supplies are on the way with the New Zealand Navy. The big relief organisations are planning their response. But the community here is planning family-to-family -family relief by sending a personalised 44-gallon drum. People came, purchased drums, um, the size drum there, yeah. uh, and then they would pack it there. It's something that we've, we've done every every uh, disaster relief that we did, and we haven't had any any issue with it. Melino Maka refers back to the tsunami that hit Samoa in 2009. Then containers packed with personal family relief drums were successfully and quickly sent in shipping containers on a Navy frigate. The man who helped with donating and coordinating containers then is helping again, former All Black Sir Michael Jones. We're all hurting, um, not just our Tongan uh, family, um, part of the family, but the Samoans, the Cook Islanders, the, the Fijians, and of course that extends to our Kiwis. So this empty car park at Mount Smart Stadium will hopefully soon fill up with families packing relief into drums and containers. Hosting shipping containers won't be the only role that Mount Smart Stadium plays in disaster relief. The first home game of the season for new rugby club Moana Pacifica against the Chiefs will be a pre-season dedicated fundraiser as well. Everything's about making a contribution and fundraising for our, our, for our families back home in Tonga. Other Kiwi businesses are also fundraising. Tauranga-based Hilala Vanilla sources its product from 300 farmers in Tonga. It hasn't heard from any of them. A lot of them, smallholder growers, are on outlying islands, which are very low-lying, um, and they're very at risk of saltwater damage and ash to the plantations. With communications still cut, the scale of Tonga's need remains unclear. Simon Shepherd, News Hub.